What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. Tottenham 3, West Ham on, 1 boys. in a Come very on. pivotal game in the top four race. Unbelievable yes. stuff, unbelievable. I think we're going to get Sai in here as Come well. On, we're going to get Sai in here he's as well. Oh, he's, he's not coming in then, he's not coming in. Sai, what do you think of the game today, mate? love it. Any time you beat those... I'm not going to say Don't it. Say it. <laughs> every, time, every time you beat them, it makes it much more special. Absolutely brilliant. From, from the first minute, a bit annoying to make that mistake again for the, the error of the goal, but we're 3-1. How can you complain about that? Come on, is top four on? It's always been on. <laughs> Look, for me, I thought we started off the game brilliantly. We deservedly took a two-goal yeah. lead. I thought we were on top for most of it. They get a goal from a set piece against one of play and then for Which we knew what was coming, didn't we? We knew yeah, it. You always coming. know with West Ham and the, you know with our, our, our ability for set pieces, you know, it's a risk. But I felt like in the second half, it was a bit nervy for a bit. You know, you, you've got the feeling, if we don't get another goal, West Ham are going to come into it. But after 70 minutes, they were done in West Ham. They were knackered, I think, they were, I think maybe that made a big part I of it. think you could really see the European excursion take yeah, its hold, definitely. definitely. You really could, Because uh, when they made those two subs, Antonio got taken off, didn't get a kick today from Romero. Hey, and Romero, then, first of all, Romero was absolutely, he was my man in the match today. Yeah, I thought he was brilliant. I thought he was exceptional at the back. I thought he was nicking the ball off every single time, um, Antonio and any other attacker. I thought for, for about 10 minutes after West Ham made their subs, they had more energy and I was actually getting quite worried but then uh, but, but once I kind of was settled into it once we kind of got used to them going back to four at the back it was all Tottenham and it was literally just a barrage it was a shot after shot it was only a matter of time before we were going to get that third goal but as the third goal didn't come it was getting nervous yeah, you know one yeah, set piece yeah. and that nearly happened 100%. Son led to go out play when it was he could have kept it on goes for a corner there's absolute me, me, um, um, chaos in the box Laurie thankfully grabs it. That could have been the moment West Ham get back in here. But I think we deserved it. We had yeah. loads of chance on the oh. counter. When we did um, actually, when they weren't at low block and we were trying to play around, we also looked at having quite a few chances as well. And it was just, we didn't get that third. But when, once we got that third, there was relief. You sensed it. It's, and that was it. Does this answer some sort of critics in terms of Tottenham playing against a low block? I wouldn't I necessarily certainly say so because I think West Ham didn't really play a low block today for most of the game, especially in the first half. They played quite a high line. They, I think they tried to catch us high and it didn't quite work out, which is why we had so much space for the first two goals we scored. You know, Doherty caught them, caught them high and for the second goal, look how high their line is that came to slip uh, something. So I don't think they played a low block today, but we def they definitely played, the, you know, they're a stringent back line and that's, and that's what they've shown. And, and I think we did really, really well. I'm just so happy, by the way, that was an own goal and a deflection of Zuma <laughs> for the first two goals. I'm so happy. Screw that guy, honestly. Screw him. Um, so I'm happy that he was involved with, the, with, with those two goals. But I thought, again, Kane and Saul were brilliant, both of them, I thought. Both of them. I mean, Son was a much improved performance today from the last couple of weeks. Well, you know what? Before that third goal, a lot of people were saying he's looking tired. He's looking he was. This. He was looking tired. But then he comes up with it, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that is why. That is the exact reason why you don't um, not start ha uh, human Son, because that's what you can come up with. Yeah. And Harry Kane, on the other hand, I mean, I thought he was brilliant today. Three assists, I yeah. think you said it was. Three assists he got today. Two, three brilliant. That assist for the Son's... Uh, yeah, goal, sec first goal, unbelievable, unbelievable passing uh, to thread that through and then to win the head of Zuma and Dawson as well to get the third goal to seal it. I and I, I, he was brilliant again today, Harry. They couldn't live with him. They couldn't live with him. I thought Romero was hands down our player of the Amanda match today. I really did. I thought he was unbelievable. Anything that came away is stepped up, and the one mistake he made throughout the game, he made up for. So I think. And, I, and Antonio had to be hauled off after the hour because yeah. he, he couldn't get a kick. Yeah. Uh, Romero was getting first to it. If you thought he had a good game, you know, up against Antonio in the, in the Olympic Stadium. You should see this one because oh, he completely had there. him in his mouth there because Antonio actually did uh, got him a few times at that. Didn't game. get him once. No, today. not once. Didn't get him once. once. I was, to be honest, I think we were pretty solid in the back today, despite the goal from set pieces and the other chance that they had when Norris had to handle it. They didn't really have anything. From, from, what, I, from what I remember, I mean, we haven't seen the replays or anything, but Doherty was imperative for that first goal, uh, and also that he um, he lost his man as well for that corner as well. Yeah, I mean, no, Dawson beats two of our defenders, yeah. which is really frustrating. And again, more set-piece uh, annoyance, uh, which is uh, which is very annoying. But I Top think... Top four now? Yeah, look. 
we, it was a brilliant performance off the back of another good performance midweek. So uh, look, we now got what six? It's now four wins and are we, six. Are we coming into four at the right time? Man. Looks like it. It looks like also an international break. We we'll have to see what happens with it, don't worry, we? because yeah, injuries but we know, and whatnot. But we know that Antonio Conte, if he has more time on a training pitch, and that's what these two weeks are going to be. But it won't, because well, most of our players will be on international duty. Yeah, but there's still a lot of players still back there that are not, that are in our first quarter. No, I'm, I'm saying what if Kane gets injured or come back with injured. No, of course, course, of course. That's all we've got to see. So hopefully it doesn't stop our momentum. I kind of feel like this is an international break coming at the wrong time for us, which is a bit annoying. I think we're building up the momentum. <laughs> Even if we would have said two weeks ago, we'd probably say, oh, it's coming at the right time, but yeah, right now it's coming at the wrong time. But look, four wins and six now. Three points behind Arsenal. Uh, even though they got a game in hand, they got tough games to come. It was imperative, absolutely imperative, that we won today, and we just uh, kept up the pressure on Arsenal. And even though they won today, we had a much tougher game than them with uh, West Ham at home. So we got the three points. Also, they'll knock their confidence hopefully with the, with, the, with us getting the win. Are and, West Ham um, done now in this top four race. I don't know if they're done, but they're 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 much less chance than us. Obviously, we're now above them with a game in hand. Someone just whatever. But yeah, look, absolutely fan, absolutely brilliant uh, performance. And you've got to say, um, top four, why not? Let's do it. All right. Come on, you Spurs and West Ham get battered everywhere they go. Come on. Come on.